So Pivot 3 has, let's say, two main, uh, uh, two main story within this car. One is provide to the people a new, new very new uh, driving sensation thanks to the center driving position. You are not anymore on the side of the car, you are in the center. That gives you a very different visibility, a very different way of uh, uh, driving in general, like to drive a, a, a race car, for example, a one-seat uh, race car. Uh, that's that's a big thing because we think e only EV can provide this to the to, to the vehicle, and that changed completely your relationship with the car, together with your relationship with the other outside of the car. That's the first point. The second point is this is about this extreme agility in a city. You know we have uh, we can U-turn in four meter, which is in itself a revolution. Uh, now the car are more about eight to ten meter to do this. So that provides you this kind of uh, let's say, sensation of freedom. I, I can do whatever I want with a car. I'm not anymore uh, in a limitation of uh, uh, the technology of the car. I can drive, almost you can move like, a, like people move. And that's the two main, uh, there are the two main uh, uh, advantage of this uh, Pivot 3. The challenge is not so uh, easy for us. Because iconic design is somehow we enjoy and play around something new, forget about the today's you know, design uh, theme, or etc. But Pivot 3 is we exactly designed for our mainstream of our EV. So we have a lot of requirement, you know, Nissan S, EV Ness, rear stick, and then environment, you know, the friendliness, etc. So that means uh, we have a more uh, mixture or requirement is coming from and then my uh, design teams are working hard to you know uh, make sure that those requirement is coming into one design and that design should be more a high level of design rather than P1 and 2. So we're proud of this design because it's the, the final execution is such a you know a high level of design uh, including Nissan NES and EV NES and then also their car feeding uh, as you've seen in the, in the show booth you can feel those kind of things through our design. There is no decision to do this. Uh, we are now considering the next step of the EV after LEAF, the Infinity EV and, and an LCD EV. Uh, we're going to have any way to, to, to propose to the market something radically different, which must be, which must be a kind of EV signature, if, if you if you if you want and uh, so pivot 3 is one of the candidates this is not the only one if you remember we made years ago a, a kind of compact sport ev uh, we have a lot of investigation around what kind of category we should go what kind of body type what kind of story we're going to tell to the people with, with this car so pivot 3 i should say at this stage is one of the candidates if we do this we should do this after the first wave of product Leaf, uh, uh, NV200 EV, and the Infinity EV. So let's say we talk about something about 2016-17, about.